Well, a big hello to all my fabulous English learners from around the world. In this video, you're going to learn how to use also. That's right, an entire video dedicated to this one word because its placement can change based on sentence structure. So you're going to learn some grammar at the same time. Now first, a word of warning. If you haven't already watched my video on as well, also, and to, make sure you watch that video first because I'm not going to repeat that information. And I teach how to use also in a different context in this last video. So go review that now. And for everybody else who's already watched it, let's get this party started and learn how to use also. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive into this video. Let's talk about how you can use also. Now, first, just a quick recap. Of course, you can use also when you're adding an additional point or you're emphasizing with more information. So that's the meaning of also. Now, in this video, we're going to take a look at sentence structure. And specifically, we're going to talk about where also is placed in the sentence depending on what type of verb you're using. So remember, if we're adding information with also, we're going to need two sentences or at least two separate parts of one sentence. So let me give you the first sentence. Can you call the client? Now, that's one task, one instruction. What if I want to provide another task or another instruction? I would add another sentence. And I would say, can you also book the conference room? So here, we're going to talk about the placement of also. Because what I want you to notice here is that we're using two verbs. Can you see the two verbs? Do you know how to identify what they are? Can is a modal verb. We're using it in question form in this sentence. And our base verb, our main verb is book. Now notice the placement of also. When we use also with a modal verb and a main verb, also is going to come before for the main verb. Can you also book the conference room? Now let's say there's a scenario where your friend just makes a statement and your friend says, I love snowboarding. We just got a lot of snow yesterday, so snowboarding is on my mind. So your friend says, I love snowboarding. Now, you love snowboarding. So you can add also to that sentence to acknowledge what your friend just said. I love snowboarding. I also love snowboarding. I also love snowboarding. Now in this sentence, how many verbs do we have? How many verbs? Well, we have one verb, love. Love is the only verb in this sentence. So when we just have one verb, also comes before that verb. I also love snowboarding. Now let's say I wanna talk about some places I've been, some trips I've taken, some adventures I've had. So I'm talking about life experience. In that case, I'm going to need to form my sentence in the present perfect. And I could say, I've been to France three 
three times. Notice the present perfect. Now let's say I want to add another location that I've been to. I could say, I've also been to Germany twice. Now here, what's our verb? Hmm, do you see it? Well, our verb being used is the verb to be. It's conjugated in the present perfect, which means we have an auxiliary verb, have, and our main verb, be, in the participle form. Now, when you have an auxiliary verb, also comes before the main verb. I've also been to Germany twice. Let's take a look at another example. So remember, we got a lot of snow yesterday, so snow is on my mind. So let's say I get to work, I'm talking to my coworker, and I say, I was late today because of the snow. Now, my coworker was late today because of the snow. This applies to both of us. My coworker could say, I was also late today. So I say, I was late today because of the snow. I was also late today. Now notice our placement here. How many verbs do we have in this sentence? Just one. But now we have a different pattern. In this case, also is after the verb. The only verb in the sentence. This is specific to the verb to be. When you have the verb to be as your main verb, the only verb in the sentence also comes after the verb to be. So make sure you keep that in mind because that's one that doesn't follow the other patterns that I shared with you. All right, so now you know the different structures of how to form your sentence with also and the placement of also. So now let's practice. Let's say you're at Starbucks and you want to order a coffee. Hmm, what type of coffee do you want? There are so many options at Starbucks. But then you decide that you also want something else, maybe a cookie, a muffin, or a little treat. Now, remember, we have our three different structures that we could use. Modal verb, auxiliary verb, and main verb. So you're at Starbucks, you're gonna order your first item, but then you're going to order an additional item. That additional item you can use also, right? Now, thankfully in English, maybe not thankfully for you, but thankfully there are many different ways that you can order something. And we can use an example with a modal verb, an auxiliary verb, and a main verb as well. So here's an example with a modal verb. I'd like, I'd like. Of course, the modal here is would as a contraction. I'd like. Our second choice, I'll have, I'll have. Here, we have an auxiliary verb. I will, of course, as a contraction, I'll have. So we have a modal verb, an auxiliary verb. Now, let's see how you can order with a base verb. I want, I want. I'll be honest, that's not really the nicest way to order something. It sounds a little abrupt and rude. I want, but we're just using this for our example. I don't suggest you use that to order something at Starbucks, okay? But just for our example, I want. Okay, so here, take these examples and write your example in the comment using each. So remember, each example is going to need two sentences. Your first sentence where you order item one, 
your second sentence with also and you order item two. And make sure you pay attention to the placement of also in your sentences. So put all your examples in the comments to practice. And now you can confidently use also at different points in your sentence using all the different styles of sentence structure. That's awesome. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4isenglish.com and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, don't forget, I want you to write those example sentences in the comments. I also want you to subscribe and keep learning with me. And until next time, bye.